So you don't see this every day at the White House. Transgender model and activist Rose Montoya has now gone viral after pulling her breast out at the White House. She was there to celebrate President Biden's pride event. Her decision to let loose has led to a lot of criticism and even a ban from ever coming back to the White House. She has since posted a video defending herself and saying her friends who are transgender men were show, showing off their surgery scars on their chest. Montoya adds she simply wanted to join in on the joy of self-expression. Why is my chest now deemed inappropriate or illegal when I show it off. However, before coming out as trans, it was not. All you're doing is affirming that I am a woman. All you're doing <laughs> is saying that trans women are women. All right, let's talk about it. Joining us now here on The Factor Uncensored, two women from our local transgender community, model and video vixen, Barbie Braxton, and businesswoman, Michaela. Glad to have you all here on The Factor Uncensored. So I heard your opinion about this so far. Your thoughts, if she says it was okay for me to do it as a man, it should be okay for me to do it as a woman. I don't think that it's right. It's, it's not right. If you're going to present yourself and be a woman, be a woman. Mm -hmm. That's why they won't invite us nowhere, but, <laughs> you know, you see it's the uh -huh. white people in the LGBTQ com plus community cutting up like that. We, not, we know better. We know it's a time and place for everything. Don't do that at the White House. All right, Michaela? It is a time and place for everything. I don't agree with it, but, I mean... You only get one life, so YOLO. That's how I look at it, but it's a time and place for everything. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think she should have actually flashed it at the White House. Like, right now it's very hard for us trans people, LGBT, LGBTQ community as a whole. So if that's the statement you want to make in the public, I see why they have all these rules and bans and things going on, because it's crazy. Like. You shouldn't be doing all that in the public. It's a time and place for everything. And when you hear her excuse or her explanation for doing that, saying, if I was a man, you would have a problem with it. So your thoughts on that, Michaela? That's like saying, if I was black, you wouldn't have a problem with me going in the hood to the grocery store. Or if I was white, you wouldn't have a problem with me going to the library. That's not a good logic to put with your actions and behaviors. I don't think so, no. And, and, and uh, do you see that setting your community back? Of and course. And you said, and which I didn't expect you to say, you were like, we as black transgender members of the community, we know better. We do. We don't, we don't cut up like that. We know it's a time and place. Like, we will catch a whooping. Like, your mom going to catch You don't act like that. Mm -hmm. So, no, she was wrong for doing that. Absolutely do, do wrong. Do you think this will set the movement, the community back. Yes. Oh, yes. It's already yes. been started. Like, um, the governor's already starting to go ahead and process with the different amendments and things and stuff like that. Like, they just had one about the youth and the um, hormone therapy and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So, this is a big setback because now they're looking like, okay, so this is what we're going to do in the public. This is how we're going to act. Okay, just keep them away. Lock them up. That's what they're looking at us like animals now because she wants to go to the White House and flash her breasts. Don't give them hormones so they won't be able to cut up and do all mm -hmm. that good stuff. Do you think many people will say and, and, and see her in this situation, I told you so, I told you so? Yeah, most definitely. Can most you recover definitely. from something like this? It'll take a long time, but just her doing that that affects the whole community, whether she sees that or not, because you're be your public representation for us. Mm -hmm. If I was on here and I did this and shook mine, then everybody would have been like, oh, look at the black trans girl she cutting up and you made us look bad and all this type mm -hmm. of stuff. So yeah, she set us back. And, and you, McKayla? I just don't see the point of her going to the White House. Matter of fact, it's like she wasn't listening to what Biden was saying in his speech or whatever, she just went up there for 
publicity and fame and trying to go viral when that's not the case right now right now you should be fighting and standing up for what's right and you know listening to what he was saying because he actually was saying some good things in his speech mm -hmm. so I think you should be more of the fact of listening to him vice versa wanting to go and flash the cameras trying to show your breasts there you go. Well, we want to thank you both for joining thank us here on The Factor. Thank you for having us. Tell your mama us. said hello. A I fellow will. Baton Rouge in, and you're from Baton Rouge, right? <laughs> yes, I am thank from Thank you for Baton joining Rouge. us here on The Factor until I said hello. Remember to follow us on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, as well as Twitter, The Isaiah Factor, Isaiah Factor Uncensored, and Isaiah Factor, and of course...